Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this awesome scene in Blender 2.83. We're gonna be using the EV Render Engine. So this is kind of just, I made this um, today. It was really cool. And I thought I'd show you guys how to make it. So this is the one we're gonna be making today. It doesn't look exactly the same because I made the tutorial, but you guys can totally come in here, mess around with the lighting and the settings to make it look however you want it to look. So this is it. I'm gonna just show you how basic it is. Just a sphere with some loops around it and a backdrop and a camera and some really basic lights. So let's get into this tutorial. There's gonna be textures in the link below as well and you can go ahead and download them, they're free. So we're gonna be using two textures, that's in the link below. Okay, so for a brand new scene opened up in Blender 2.83, we're gonna go and hit A to select everything in our scene, then X and delete. Go Shift A, search for the, under the mesh options and go get a UV sphere. With the UV sphere selected, go to your modifiers tab, add modifier, and we're gonna add a subdivision surface. Go to your object and enable smooth shading. With that done, we're gonna go Shift A, mesh, and we're gonna search for a circle. Tab into edit mode, select all those vertices, scale them up, and then go E, S, and just to extrude and scale that in to make the a smaller loop. So we're gonna go with a diameter like that. Tab out of edit mode, with this guy still selected, go to a modifier tab and add a subdivision surface and also just enable smooth shading. And then with this guy selected, go shift D, let's go and then hit S to scale up. Tab into edit mode and with this guy's inner vertices selected, we're gonna hit S to scale just to make a skinnier loop and then tab out of edit mode. Then with this guy still selected, we're gonna go just quickly to our materials tab, just temporarily, because we're gonna be duplicating it. Just add a material for now, let's just call it E1 for mission one, call it whatever you'd like, and then go to your surface. I'm gonna make this an emission, and we're not gonna mess around with the materials just now, and then grab this guy, new, and call this E2 for mission two, and also just make that an emission. And yeah, just leave it. We don't have to do anything at the moment. And what we're gonna do is duplicate these guys to make some more rings. So we're gonna leave this guy where he is. Take this guy, scale it, take this outer guy, hit S to scale it in a bit. Grab this guy, shift D and scale it up to about here. Tab into edit mode and scale those inner vertices just to make it about the same thickness. And then we're gonna grab this skinny one here, shift D and we're gonna scale this one to the outer part like so, and just edit it as much as we want. So just make them just make them how you want. I'm gonna go with that. So if I go to my front view, I go Shift A and I go add a camera. Just grab my camera, move it back, go hit G to go into your hit zero to go into your camera view. And you can hit the G key and hold your middle mouse wheel to kind of just maneuver your camera. Then what we're gonna do is grab our, our um, rings that are around our planet, go into a camera view again, and with all of them selected, double tap R, and you can kind of just rotate them how you want in 3D space. I'm gonna just go with a pose like this. Doesn't have to be fancy. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it at that for now. Then I'm gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go get a mesh, add a plane, RX90, hit enter, then scale this guy up to about the size of the camera, and like that. Now that we have that dimension, we're just gonna go to our right orthographic view and just go G, Y and move this guy back. So just to about here, about that distance, tab into your, your camera view again and then hit S to scale this guy up so it fills out the background of our camera. So there we have our backdrop and we have our planet here with the rings. So what we're gonna do next is come in here do a bit of editing with our materials and our lighting and make this scene look really cool. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just go into our render settings. So click on your render tab here, make sure we're in EV render, enable ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. Now that we've done that, we're gonna add some simple lights to our scene. So just go to your front view, shift A, go to your light, and we're gonna add a spot lamp, no, a point, just add a point light here. Then G, just to move it up to here and go to your light settings. We're just gonna increase the radius like so to about 1.2 meters. Just move it to the side here. And we're gonna increase the strength for now to about 200. So just type in 200. And you can make the color kind of like a purplish kind of color. That's what I like. And then Shift D, I'm gonna duplicate, bring this guy down here. 
And let's just go to a camera view to see what that looks like. Just go to rendered. Okay, that lo that's looking pretty cool at the moment. And then I'm gonna just grab my loops here. So grab any one of them, go to your materials tab here and just make it whatever color you want. So I'm gonna make this kind of like a blue color and then make the strength 25. Then I'm gonna grab this one in here and I'm gonna make that a pink color. That's E1, the one we made earlier. And let's just give that a strength of 25 as well. Okay, so this is what we have so far. It's looking pretty cool. And now we can add a material to our planet. So select your planet here, go to your shading. And as I've mentioned earlier, there is a link in the description below to this map. So what you're gonna do is once you've opened up the link that I've put it in the description below for the Mars texture, you're gonna come to this side here. You're gonna go down to the Mars surface maps and you're gonna download whichever one of these. I would recommend 8K and bigger. So I have the 8K one. Go ahead, click on that, it's gonna download. It's free to use. And that's the, the texture. So that's in the, the description below. Once you've done that, put it on your desktop. I would recommend that. And then we're gonna come here to our materials, create a new material with our planet selected. Let's just call it Mars because it is a Mars texture. Even though we're not technically making Mars, I'm just using that texture. So if that's done, we're gonna come over here, give ourselves a little bit more space to work in our shader editor here. So first of all, come here and add a color ramp. So shift A, search, and we're gonna add in a color ramp. So find a color ramp, put it here. Go shift A, search, and get a bump node. Put the bump node here. And what we're gonna do is also go shift A, search and get an image texture. And then we're gonna go open and we're gonna find that one I just showed you to download. So go, I put mine on my desktop. It's gonna be this one here, the 8K one. Grab that and open image. Then we're gonna take the color, plug it into the base here. And instead of having this one flat, you're gonna make it sphere. So make this sphere. And then we're gonna take this color, plug it into the um, color ramp and then take the color here, plug it into the height, take the normal and plug it into the normal of the BSDF. And then just bring this black value in a bit like so. And bring this strength down to 0.15, like that. And at the moment it's stretching in a really weird way because what we need to do is add in some more nodes. Go shift A, search, look for a mapping node. So just type in map, get a mapping node, plug the vector into the vector here Shift A, search and get a texture coordinate. So just type in texture and look for a texture coordinate. And then what you're gonna do is take the object and plug it into the vector here. And here you can see it's now properly applied. So go to your um, principal BSDF shader here and I'm just gonna bring the roughness up so it doesn't look as glossy. And because this isn't meant to be like photo real, we're gonna leave it at that. So this is fine. You can mess around with the strength of the bump if you want a bit. But I'm just gonna leave it at this for now. It's looking pretty good to me. So you can see here in the rendered view, that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna leave it at that. So let's grab our backdrop here, this plane, add a new material to that. Let's just call it BG for background. And all we're gonna do is go Shift A, search, get a texture, image texture. Plug the color into your base color here and then go open and find that one um, that I'm gonna put in the link below. It's this one, astronomy. Open that image. And you can see here, Blender has automatically um, kind of like unwrapped this. But if it didn't, just go to your UV editing and go U, UV unwrap and just adjust it in the screen here till it all matches up. So you can see if I move this around, it's happening over here. So just go ahead, do that if it isn't already projected on properly. But that's fine for now. And what we can do, which I really like, what we can do that I really like is to go Shift A, search and get a color ramp node. Put a color ramp in here. And it's what we can do is hit the little plus tab here and make this whatever color we want. So I'm gonna go for blue, like this. And what I'm gonna do is go Shift A, search and get an emission, emission shader. Put it in here, plug the color into there. And then instead of using the principal BS, BSDF, we're gonna just plug it into there. So we're gonna just delete this guy here. And now this plane at the back is an emission. So just bring these colors in a bit like that. Maybe bring the black value in a bit. Just make it look cool and sci-fi. Um, and you can mess around with the, the strength here of this. But I'm just gonna go with that. 
yeah, something like that. Okay, that's cool. You can mess around with it all you want. I'm just gonna leave it at that for this tutorial. Strength of about, I think six is good. Just gonna leave it at that. Gonna grab one of these lamps. Uh, also, just go to your world settings. Go to your world settings and just make the color of the world completely black. And then grab your lamp, go to your lamp settings. And I'm gonna increase the strength of this quite a lot and also increase the radius a bit. And then I'm gonna grab this blue ring here and I'm gonna just make the strength of that qu quite a bit more. Grab the pink one and make the strength a bit more as well. And then just grab these two lamps here and just go to our top view and just move them forward a little bit like that. So this is what we have so far. This is our scene. Um, you can totally mess around with things here. Just mess around with the sliders and the values till you get something you like. It's just a really basic thing. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, please subscribe, check out some of my other content. So here it is. And all the images I used are in the link below. So just check that out.